This morning we're talking about the pros and cons of a popular baby box that has been all over social media in recent weeks. Supporters say the boxes help reduce infant deaths. Not on your side, Allie Kramer spoke to local health leaders who do not endorse this when it comes to the baby boxes. Chris, that's right. That's why local doctors say the best way to reduce the chances of sleep related deaths in infants is for them to be in a crib and not in a box. And that's why the Cincinnati Health Department is a partner in a statewide Cribs for Kids program. Low income mothers and caretakers are eligible for a free crib or something known as a pack and play. And that comes with other newborn necessities, including a sleep sack to keep parents from putting blankets in the crib that could end up suffocating a baby and a onesie to remind parents that babies we sleep best on their back. It's a saving grace for many mothers. It means so much. Um, we've had, you know, mothers that walk out with tears in their eyes because they're like, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, I didn't know where, where my baby was going to sleep. So it's a blessing to be able to take part in this. Now, if you want to participate in the Cribs for Kids program, you can call 513-564-BABY or you can simply dial 211 to be connected to the United Way and they will find a way to connect you to a crib. If you want a baby box, you can call Brave Choices there in Amelia. Their number 513-212-8176. And of course, all of those phone numbers are right now on our website, WCPO.com. And Chris, the latest infant mortality numbers for 2016 will be released tomorrow afternoon, something we're certain going to continue to cover. Allie, we appreciate it. We'll definitely uh, stay on top of that story for you as well.